Welcome friends, to this video we're gonna be drawing a grid with a perfect square in two point perspective. We're gonna be doing this in a few steps. First, we're gonna start by drawing a horizon line and then we'll add two vanishing points and a 45 degree vanishing point. Then we'll start constructing out the bottom of our perfect square. We'll size that perfect square and then we'll complete out our grid. So let's go ahead and get started by drawing our horizon line. And what I have here is Procreate on the iPad. So it makes it pretty easy to do with some built-in tools. So for example, if I draw a straight line here and hold and hold my finger, it'll snap to and I'll get a horizon line. Next, what I'm gonna do is create a new layer and we're gonna create our vanishing points with a part of a right triangle. So I will draw a vertical line and I'll hold that one here and then I'll draw a horizontal line and I'll hold that one here. And then I'm gonna draw a right 45 degree by holding it here and then doing 15, 30, 45 degrees. All right, now that I have that, I'm going to select it and I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to put two corners on this horizon line. Those would be our vanishing points. So something like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and label this. So this one over here will be my left vanishing point. This one in the middle is our 45 degree vanishing point. And then on the right is our right vanishing point. And now I can go ahead and hide this triangle. And now we can begin constructing the bottom of our perfect square. Now imagine if you are placing a object out in front of you and you're going to turn it in a certain direction. So we are going to imagine two of the planes going off to one vanishing point and then we're gonna start with one off to the other vanishing point and then we're gonna find that depth or that width based on the other size. So hopefully that makes sense. Let me try to explain it here as we go. So we can either go to the left or the right. We'll pick the left here as an example. So this one, example would be the bottom of our square from the left vanishing point and this will be the top of our square and so it could be whatever size that you desire here and then this one from the right vanishing point will be the other bottom of our square so right here is the beginning of our square now we don't know in perspective what the other length is here so we have the call this the depth we don't know what the width is quite yet so that's what we're going to figure out with our 45 degree vanishing point so i'm going to create a new layer and use a different color because we're going to hide that in a moment and i'm going to come from the 45 degree vanishing point right to the bottom of the square and then i'm going to make another one and connect it to the right part of our square and we'll start using both of these 45 degree vanishing points to build out our grid and the rest of our square. So if I come back to this layer here, and what I'm gonna do first is on the top part of the square, I have the 45 degree vanishing point and the left vanishing point merging. And so I'm going to take the other or the right vanishing point and draw it and intersect in between those two. All right, so now we have the, the same width and depth of our perfect square here. And so now I'm gonna do this kind of stair stepping or back and forth between the vanishing 45 degree vanish point to build out the rest of our grid. So over here on the right, we have the right vanish point and the 45, so I'm gonna go from the left to this intersection. And then I'm gonna keep going from left to right, left to right, until it begins to converge on the horizon. So let's go ahead and speed up this part of the video. All right, so now it's starting to converge. And so we essentially have our grid. Now we can extend this out a little bit, but beyond our cone of vision, which is roughly up here, we're gonna start getting distortion. But I'll show you it uh, just in case you are curious what that looks like. So if I take another 45 degree vanishing point and I merge here at this first intersection there. All 
And then I'm going to do that on the other side as well. I can extend this each vanishing point out. So let's take a look at that. So if I go to this first converged line intersection here, extend it out, same thing here, go to this first one here, extend it out. And you can see that they are somewhat getting distorted. So I'm going to stop there and hide the guidelines here. And these, for example, this square is going to be equal to this square in perspective. Same thing as the square here and the square here. And this is really helpful when you're scaling in perspective, which I'm going to be doing in future videos. For example, if you want to draw a figure and have them foreshortened, this is a very useful skill to learn. So make sure you subscribe if you don't wanna miss out on those. I'm gonna be releasing those very soon. And I can't wait to see you in an upcoming video. See you next time.